how to fix and restore widevine l1 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can fix or restore your widevine l1 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro now before Poco F1 users ask me, can we do this for the Poco F1 also? Unfortunately, you cannot. We did try getting attention from Poco India, but as you know, they don't really care about it anymore. Anyways, even for the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro, you do need to be on a custom ROM and this here is the Xiaomi EU. How do you install that? Video for that can be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need to do is you will go into settings and make sure you do have an active internet connection go into password and security and set up a fingerprint unlock so let me set up a fingerprint unlock and then i will be back and there it is i just set up a fingerprint now once you have set up a fingerprint you will be on this menu go into fingerprint payments widevine l1 here and tap on certificate and it should download the certificate from the internet and there it is you can see updated successfully and now we also have a certificate update date once this is done go ahead and reboot your device yes the eu builds to come with the new power menu something which you do not get with the global builds so we have booted back into miui and at this point you should be able to access your widevine l1 and you should have l1 working without any issues on netflix amazon prime hd so all those things should be working right now a few important things to note over here are that this feature has been added in this specific build of eu so this is 21.6.30 and i am pretty sure that any builds after that would have this feature so make sure you install the build which is this one 26.3.0 or any build after this another question which i will get a lot is why is it not working from stock me ui well unfortunately i do not have an answer for that the only people who can answer that question are the people at xiaomi and poco india and unfortunately they do not listen to anybody they are more interested in selling devices next thing i recommend you do is take a backup of your persist partition now how do you do that i have linked an archive file in the description of this video and it is named backup underscore restore underscore modem do note this is going to backup some other important partitions as well so right now it is in my internal storage just tap on it and say extract files to and just select the internal storage and say extract once this is done i have a new folder called backup underscore restore underscore modem now this is the folder wherein we have all the important files so next thing to execute the backup we do need to go into a terminal emulator i am using the one in twrp but before that you will notice i do not have any backup or any image files over here in my internal storage so let us go ahead and turn off the device and once the device has turned off we need to press and hold power and volume up together till we see the twrp recovery logo and there it is we did have to decrypt our data because we had a password if you get this keep system read only never show again and then swipe to allow modifications next up go into advanced here in open terminal now we need to take a backup of the modem and persist partitions so the commands are mentioned in the description of this video as well so first up let us head over to the sd card so we're going to type cd space sd card we are in the sd card this is our internal storage if i do ls over here you will notice i have this folder backup underscore restore underscore modem so now we need to go to this specific folder so cd space and the name of the folder so here it is cd space backup underscore restore underscore modem and then tap on the check mark now we are inside this folder do a ls over here and as you can see we have all the files so backup dot sh and restore dot sh next up we need to make the backup file executable so chmod space plus x space and name of the file in this case backup 
dot sh so and then press the enter key now it is executable next up we need to execute this file so sh space and name of the file in this case backup dot sh and then press the enter key and there it is the backup process finished successfully and we have taken backups of some important partitions if i go into install to access my internal storage install image here it is these are the partitions we have backed up so we have backed up modem modem st1 modem st2 fsc and persist so persist we backed up because we now do have l1 on our persist partitions and before i forget in case you want to you know restore it you can use the restore.sh file make sure that everything is in the internal storage and another thing make sure you upload these backups on the cloud or keep them somewhere safe because they are going to come in handy in the future in case you have issues with your modem or say persist is not working and there it is peeps that is how you restore and get back widevine l1 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and also create a backup of the persist partition and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you